The Yorkshire Conditions Tea Stakes is next. No, the Yorkshire Tea Conditions Stakes, that should be. <laughs> so, a mile and a half over not. Uh, yeah, let's start again. Mile and a half, naught to 65. Let loose at the top for Obi Wan. Seabird, Martin Lidham. Non fiction, Kevin Renan. Marble Arch, Daniel French. Pishaniki, Stu Gray. Tintinara Valant. Or Padre Hogan. Gunslinger Contact, Thomas Rogers. Gilderoy Wild, Padre Hogan. Classic Mode, Alex. Cherry, Commodore Sugars. CDJ Liggett. East Kilbride Pirate and Fast Rest. For Matt Cooper, Multi Blessing, Satyam Sandra Sagarum, Ritva for Martin Lidham, Ruby Swirl, Alex Cherry, Still the Intrepid, CDJ Liggett, and Zafranga de Moore, Thomas Rogers, Silk still all over the place, and Big Field as well, so you might get a few wrong. And the stores are all there up in the air, and away they go, I think they are. <laughs> oh dear. It's Multi Blessing in the lead, and those silks, believe it or not, are being used today by Satyam. So I've noticed that one in the in the thing. I haven't seen them before. So it's multi blessing in front. I'm guessing they might be a set of Daniel French's colours or something. I haven't got a clue how this is all working now or what's going on. The only time I used to see the colours being wrong was if something got pulled out in the last minute because a racer had put the wrong horse in. But these, you can't be putting the rolls in every race for four weeks on a trot, so there must be something going wrong somewhere. Anyway, multi blessings in the lead from Marble Arch there, one and two. They could be trained by anybody, to be honest. Seabird is in third, then comes Let Loose in fourth, Fast Rest is next, and then Gunslinger Contact and Non Fiction with Zafra and Arnold de Moore after that one. Looking towards the back, Classic Mode is the back marker alongside East Kill by Pirate. Well, it's multi blessing. I'm pretty sure he's a Satyam from Marble Arch in second. Then Seabird is about four lengths down in third. Then comes Let Loose and Fast Rest, Non Fiction and Zafranaga, Damore. Then Gustin Contact, Tintinara, Volant is after that one. Gilderoy Wild is next. One or two of them getting caught a bit wide on the track there as well. But it's multi blessing and Marble Arch. They've got four and a half furlongs to go. The one that's really making good ground. On the outside, I think he's non-fiction in the green with the orange hoop. Uh, Zafranaga de Moore's also trying to come through. Seabird's losing its place. Fast Rest is trying to get going. Ritvar is trying to run on from the back, but he's multi-blessing and Marble Arch still disputing the lead. Here comes non-fiction now with a strong-looking run then. Zafranaga de Moore, Seabird on this near side. He's plugging on the one that's making ground now on the wide outside. He's Gilderoy Wild, but it's in front still. Multi-blessing from Marble Arch. Multi-blessing, Marble Arch. Then non-fiction. Gilderoy Wild is absolutely flying. Then Tintinara Wild and then again Seabird is still trying to get going as well. Then after that one is Zafranaga the Moor, but it's non fiction who's hit the lead then with a furlong to go. And now Marble Arch bursts back into the lead. And it's Marble Arch who's suddenly shooting clear. Marble Arch is looking like he's going to win this one pretty comfortably. Marble Arch is going to win it. Non fiction is going to hang on for a second. Then Tintinara Volant multi blessing let loose constantly in contact. All the way back to fast rest. And the Tea stakes, or the Yorkshire tea stakes, is going to go to Marble Arch. And we'll have to check the name of these trainers because I'm not sure who they are, to be honest. Marble Arch is probably going to be Daniel French or Paul Rhodes. It's Daniel French. So Marble Arch for Daniel French, the winner. Non fiction for Kevin Meenahan, second. Tintinara of Wallant for Padre Hogan was third. Multi Blessing for Satyan Sandra Sagram was fourth. And Let Loose for Obi Wan was fifth. <laughs>